part about living somewhere instead of just being a tourist is getting to experience the little things. Those are the things I find curious and exciting. I watched a gazillion YouTube videos before coming to San Cristobal and they all focus on the history and the architecture, the museums, the day trips, and although I'm still learning about those and admire them, this, this is what gets me excited, being able to climb these steps, enjoy the people around me, and just watch the beauty of the sunrise while sitting in the steps of La Iglesia de San Cristobalito. Even if you're a tourist, I definitely recommend enjoying the sunrise here and the sunset at Iglesia de Guadalupe. It's a unique experience. It takes it beyond just exploring of this amazing landmark, but also just enjoying what is. You'll see people exercising. You'll see dogs absorbing the sunshine. When I get up early, I always go to the Andadores because some of the restaurants are starting to open, but a lot of them are still prepping. Um, one of my favorite things to see is when they're getting ready to open and they're cleaning the street. I, I know it's weird, but I find it so unique because it's like they cherish their surroundings. They appreciate what they've been given and they take care of their streets. I also love all the art around me and how courageous the people that live here seem. And this andador on Calle Miguel Hidalgo has the fanciest little places. This is a courtyard that has different shops and restaurants. Depending on what time of the day you walk the streets, you'll find different kinds of vendors. In the afternoon, you'll have fries and burgers. And in the morning, this lady was selling tamales, café de olla, arroz con leche, and some other delicious goodies. So I stopped at the Iglesia San Francisco de Asís to enjoy my breakfast. As the sun rises, you can catch the rays coming from behind the church. And this little courtyard only happens to be open on weekends. So if you want to explore the church, you have to come on a Saturday or Sunday. One of the things I've enjoyed the most here in San Cristobal is the entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> like this amazing gentleman knew that this kind of business was needed in this area. So he just parked his car and filled in a gap in the market because the next closest store is about 20 blocks away. The kind of business that I find unique is bookstores. There are so many of these bookstores and some are focused on art, some are used books. They have English books, they have Spanish books. Um, some places are even more focused and cater to the comic book fans or the manga fans. They also have a little area where you can sit and you can either play or you can, you know, read your magazines. That first one has snacks. This one has a full menu. Both of these stores are generally on the same street, except in one end it's called Real de Guadalupe and on the other end it's called Victoria Guadalupe. Now this bookstore that I showed you, it's one of my favorites and the reason for this is that it has a little room that they called a movie theater, un cine. And at six o'clock every day they show a movie on their TV. These are the movies they show. But if 
for whatever reason, there's a specific movie from Amazon, Netflix, or whatever kind of media that you want to watch, they let you just reserve the place for free and watch it. They do take donations, obviously, um, and then you can get some drinks and coffee and beers, craft beers there, which is really cool. We rented the room to watch a movie that um, they only had on Amazon Prime and we couldn't watch at home. Now, one of the other andadores, Andador Real de Guadalupe. I find completely different than the other two andadores, even though the one I showed you this morning. This is because this particular one has nomadic vendors. And of course, this is a um, just an observation on my behalf because I notice a lot of them have like Argentinian accents or maybe Uruguayan accents and um, even though they speak Spanish it's obviously not a Mexican accent so I find it really interesting it's not the same kind of vendedores that they have on the other streets it's not the ones selling um, artesanías or you know the traditional Mexican artesanías of the area. These are crafts, crafters of leather, of, of jewelry, of art. You can also find musicians and just all kinds of things. It, I find it super unique and you know my intrigue over seeing the fact that there seem to be a lot of Argentinian tourists in the area led me to find this adorable bakery. Now hands down this is the best bread I've tried in Mexico. It's a delicious almost like a sourdough moist in the inside nice and crispy on the outside and aside from that they have oh of course the empanadas are my favorite and they have croissants and all kinds of desserts. This day they were low on product but usually it's full of amazing things and everything I've tried I can say I've liked and the people have been super friendly. Listening to my stories of my grandpa and his stories with Che Guevara. On the same street you'll find two Argentinian steakhouses and um, Chimichurri we visited on the first day we were here looking for apartments and it, it did cater to vegans as well. So no day is complete without going to the Zocalo. There's always some amazing performer here. Excuse me. Sometimes you'll see dancers, sometimes you'll see Batman and the Joker, <laughs> sometimes you'll see uh, people carrying very artistic cotton candy. But um, if you're looking for a little bit of entertainment, the Zocalo is the perfect place to close out your night.